global efforts to deliver military hardware to Ukraine are ongoing. A deal with France struck this week will see Australian gunpowder used in French ammuni ammunition, which will be sent to thousands of forces in Ukraine. Elsewhere, US President Joe Biden says the US will not provide uh, the Ukrainian forces with F-16 fighter jets, despite pleas from officials in Kyiv. Let's go live to Kyiv. I'm joined by Rob Potter. He's the co-founder of Internet 2.0. It's a company that's helping train veterans in Ukrainian military and cyber defence and also providing other support there in Ukraine. Rob, thank you for joining me. Let's start with your reaction to the collaboration between Australia and France with that ammunition, obviously welcomed by the Ukrainian government and military. Absolutely. So one thing that this won't get the kind of coverage that it should because everyone's focused on tanks and planes and uh, the upcoming offensive. But this is one of those small uh, contributions that's going to have an outsized impact because the Ukrainians, since the beginning of the war, have had a massive ammunition shortage. The Russians have been able to fire more artillery shells than they have. They've been able to make more artillery shells than the Ukrainians, and they've been able to get those shells to the front lines uh, in greater numbers than the Ukrainians. So even when Ukraine has a battlefield advantage in the technology that it's using, through Javelins or through Abrams tanks or through the new challenges that are arriving, uh, this, this is really an artillery war. Uh, it's when you see the... Uh, the front lines, when you see the buildings that are being hit by artillery, you realise that it's about the supply chain of those shells. Uh, and so this is a small announcement that has perhaps escaped notice, but it will have be one of the largest contributions Australia makes to the war.